Well, you know, what we used to call a traditional service, uh, families would perhaps have two days of visiting. Um, usually it was two to four, seven to nine, two consecutive days, and then the service the following day. And you know, often they did those visitations at home. So today a traditional might be one day of visiting, two to four, seven to nine, and the funeral service the next day, or it could be a memorial service, uh, which we still call a funeral service, but the difference is the body is present in ashes only, or uh, perhaps not even ashes. There may be just a memory table and a time to, to um, uh, have a picture and, and some items that might memorialize that person that way. Often, if it's a funeral or a celebration of life, it can be at the funeral home, and that's quite common. But really, anywhere that's significant to the person, um, they can be done at the lakeside, uh, a celebration of life, um, a public park, um, the country club. We have had people want doves released at the cemetery or perhaps in a park, uh, if they have a service in a park. Balloons have been a, a, a big thing in the last few years, a release of balloons at the cemetery or a park or a backyard. Um, and of course they can have environmentally uh, friendly compositions that, that won't harm the environment. And so that's really pretty and awesome, quite an awesome thing to, to be standing there and the family, there can be 20 or 30 or 40 people and all these balloons uh, going up. Uh, it's, it really is neat, it's, it's just so neat. And of course we often, we all want to think our loved one is, has, has gone to a better place, has gone up. The celebration of life or the funeral can be held just about anywhere, just about anywhere. Um, it's really significant to each family and to each individual where that should be and what would best help them.